What's going on guys? Got a brand new movie review for you guys today. We're discussing a film that's directed by the man who's given us Hostel, Grain Inferno, and some of the most messed up torture horror films we've ever seen. Eli Roth directs The House with a Clock in its walls. Eli Roth directs his very first kid film starring Kate Blanchett, Jack Black, and Owen Vacro. I was somewhat looking forward to this movie. Now, I'm not the biggest Eli Roth fan. I really enjoy Hostel, but every other film he's ever made, I feel like either goes way too above it or just not in my roundhouse of enjoying. I know he has his own audience and that's awesome, but it's never been one of those guys. I think he's a great guy. I love when he shows up in little performances like Inglorious Bastards and I just, he's a good guy, but I was curious to see how his venture into being in a kid's film would turn out. I'll actually go as far as to say, I think his direction here was actually pretty smooth and solid. If I'm even going a little bit further here, I think it's some of the best directing he's done since Hostel. Really, what is the house with a clock in its walls? From the trailers, you don't, you get this little mystery that there's wizardry and magic in here, but it's all about a young orphan named Louis Barneval who aids his magical uncle in locating a clock with a power to bring about the end of the world that's hidden somewhere within this house. That's a cool little concept. I like kind of little magic and mystery and whatnot that we get in here, and that was some of the most fun aspects of the film. I don't think this is a perfect film, and in fact, I don't think this is a great film. I do think there's some fun aspects to it and this is the perfect film for really kids in their like 10 to 12 of age i don't think this is good for younger kids because there are some horror elements in here which i will get to but i think it's good for those kids this isn't a film that's kind of fitting to my audience per se but it's one of those films that if you take your kid to go see it you're gonna somewhat enjoy it hopefully things that really worked for me personally was kate blanchett who is super her, but anything she shows up, but she really steals a lot of scenes in here. And Jack Black, surprisingly, I love Jack Black, and he was fantastic in here too. He was great in Jumanji too last year, and really in here he steals a lot of the scenes too with a lot of the humor and bringing about that. And Kate Blanchett really bringing her mysticism and her dramatic elements with some of those fun kid bits in her. They really stole a majority of the show. Now, one of my big things with all the performances though is as great as both of them are. I felt like the kid was the part that kind of didn't work for me. This isn't anything of Owen Vacro. I'm sure he's a fantastic kid. He's still growing. He's. I'm not an actor. I'm sure he's a 10 times better actor than I am. In some scenes. But man, as sweet as this kid seemed in some parts, he really got on my nerves and found to be a little bit of annoying. I don't know if it's the way that his character was written, but there are scenes where he has to cry, and dear God, he should not cry. I did not believe it at all. It seemed very fake. There's parts where he's screaming that really hurt my ears, and in the end of the day, it just felt really annoying, and I just got annoyed at this kid. Yeah, he's sweet at times, and you smirk and smile, but I don't know if it's the way his, the kid was written, or the way that he was acting, or just in general, both things put together. It just, the kid did not work for me, and really dragged this movie down for me. I said Eli Roth did direct this film, and of course he has a very big horror background. I was curious why he got chose to direct this film, and why he chose to do it, but he does bring those horror elements in here, into a kind of Monster House type of fun time in here, which I'm a really big fan of that anime movie, Monster House, and I think this film kind of brought elements of that, mixed with goosebumps from a couple years back, and that's one of the strongest parts of this movie is Eli Roth's horror tone. I mean, there are some jump scares in here that got me better than The Nun did. And that's some nice little horror elements in here because I like when family films do interject those horror films where there's still a family film and kids can watch the movie, but they'll kind of get that little jump scare in there that works for the tone of the movie. And I like that Eli brought it. There's some creepy dolls in here that really spooked me and got me on the edge of my seat. And all those scenes really worked. All those horror moments really just overly went where all the practical effects and stuff. Some of the overly CGI horror if things didn't work particularly but really those practical effects did work i gotta say i really enjoyed the score in here and again this film has a lot of fun moments to it all the magic and mysticism and this mythology that they are building in this movie i really enjoyed from really our main character not being good and me not being able to get on the back side of him it's hard for me to really get on board with the whole film. I felt like the story was a little bit rushed in some parts where I would have liked to be taken on a different adventure here and there and maybe you just would have liked to see Jack Black and Kate Blanchett be the main characters. Like the antagonist for this whole film kind of just comes in towards the end and I don't really know how to feel about him. It just feels like a lot of different pot lines fall in all at, at once and you're kind of like okay how's this going on you kind of find yourself getting a little bit confused i do know this is based off a book and i know in books you have more time to develop these characters develop these moments in the middle of the film it kind of started falling apart where the first part of the film got me intrigued the second part kind of just started drifting apart and the third film tied it up a little bit 
but it just didn't land the punch that I wanted it to. It's an intriguing world at that. Kate Blanchett's superb, of course. Jack Black's great in it. The kid really disappointed me. Overall, I, you won't hate this film. It's really a middle-of-the-road movie. You'll enjoy some parts. You won't like some parts, but this is a good film for kids, of course. So if you're looking for a film to take your kids to, I can recommend this. Just do know that there are some horror elements to it. With that said, I'm going to give the house with a clock in its walls a C. Hey guys, what are your guys' thoughts on this film? Are you guys looking forward to it? Were you guys excited about it? Have you read the book? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts. Also, if you guys are new here, hit up Sam Shot and Films right down there, because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens, even check out some movie news, and even some movie reviews. But of course, guys, until next time, stay classy. <laughs>